to the cockpit and hang on. been the murder of Voorhees on me, and I managed to escape from Momoa just in time. My name won't be cleared until I get the real murderer, a man named Carter. Have you any idea where you could find him? Well, I'm convinced from what Voorhees said that he's somewhere on Pool Monte. That's why I took the job of running Galbraith's trading post there. While well, I'm looking for Carter, I'll get the natives to bring in the Cobra. I'm afraid that won't be easy. The coconut plantations are close to Haunted Harbor, and the natives are afraid to go near it. How did you know that? I've been in Pulamati often. You see, my father has been doctoring the natives on those islands a long time. Naturally, since the sloop was my only home, I went along. You lived aboard the sloop? Yes. I wonder if you'd help me. Why, certainly, after all you've done for us. Well, I was thinking, as long as you're so well acquainted with the natives, why not stay over at Pulamati a while and help me persuade them to gather a copra again? Besides, your father needs plenty of rest and quiet until he recovers and, well, well, there's plenty of room in the company bungalow for all of us. Uh, what do you say? It's a deal. Oh, fine. Uh, well, I'll radio the clerk and tell him to have the bungalow ready for us. Uh, would you take the wheel? Certainly. These are an extra set of keys to the store. And uh, this contains the combination of the office safe. I also have the accounts and inventories ready for your inspection. Thank you, Dranger. I trust you found everything here to your satisfaction, Captain Marston. I'd like to stay on as your assistant. Mm -hmm. I'd be glad to have you. Oh, by the way, Dranger, I want to ask you, uh, what do you know about Haunted Harbor? Nothing personally. But there is something terrible down there. Of all the natives who went there, only one has ever returned. And he came back a raving maniac babbling of demons and sea monsters. There must be some natural explanation for that. Perhaps. But the natives won't go near the place to get copra. As a result, our trade with them has dropped to nothing. <laughs> Looks as though it's up to me to go to Haunted Harbor and solve the mystery. Don't try it, Captain. You'll never come back. How's your father, Patricia? He's resting comfortably. Oh, that's fine. I drank a, I'll be down at the store tonight at 8 o'clock to check the inventories. I'll have everything ready, Captain. Good day. Good day. And the new company manager is Jim Marsden. Marsden? What's he doing here? Maybe he came here to find the man who killed Voorhees. Can't connect me with it. No one saw me at Amoa. Kane, did Marsden ever know you? I mean, when your name was Carter? 
No. But he's a tough opponent, and with him on the island, our whole setup is in danger. Yes, he's already asking questions about Haunted Harbor. He even plans to go there. And the sooner we take care of him, the better. He's coming to the store tonight to check the inventories. That's good enough. I'll send a man to do the job, and we'll fix it so you won't be suspected. I was working on the invoices. Fred. Take it easy. I'll get you the bungalow. I'll have Miss Harding take care of that. We'll come back here in the morning and straighten things up. Come on. talking to the chief about getting his people back to work in the copra plantations. Good. What did he say? The plantations are too close to Haunted Harbor. The natives are afraid to go near them. Did you arrange an interview for me to see the chief? No. He won't allow you in the village, but he's sending his son, Cassin, to meet you at Koala Pass. He will take your message to his father. Well, I guess that'll be some help. What time am I to meet him? This afternoon at 3 o'clock. Now, just give us time to have lunch. I'll be back after I see Castle. All right. DX calling X2. DX calling X2. DX calling X2. This is X2. Come in, D. The Harding girl arranged for Marsden to meet Cassim and Kuala Pass at 3 o'clock today. We'll take care of it. That's bad. Marsden may make a deal with Cassim. He won't have a chance. I don't get it. Well, it's simple. Knock off Cassim before he gets to the pass. Then the natives will think Marsden murdered their chief's son. Pretty neat. Sure. Take Snell and get out to the pass. Right.
He's wounded. Let's take him to the bungalow. Get going. I'll hold him back. Cut across country and stop that car. 